with your energy forecast for Monday, April 8th. So welcome to the new moon total solar eclipse taking place in Aries energy. It is the day that everybody has been talking about for quite some time now. And I don't know about y'all, but I am very much looking forward for it to come to pass so that we can all just kind of settle our brains down, get back to normal programming, if you will. Because, of course, this particular event has definitely stirred the cray cray in the collective and in our own individual worlds and definitely have spent a lot of time really pushing people into some rabbit holes that of course they wouldn't have normally dabbled in. So of course, if you're interested in what this eclipse is all about, it is a major eclipse. It is a major shift in timelines, a major shift in consciousness. If you are interested, I would recommend that you sign up to the moon guide where we do a deep dive, not only in this particular event, but in your own individual birth chart, how it kind of lines up, how it relates, what you can expect over the next cycle. Because of course we are closing doors on old timelines on old identities and therefore we have a fresh clean slate a brand new beginning at our feet so of course there is a general astro forecast that i've put out here for your listening pleasure and again there you know kind of covers the highs the lows the everything in between but if you're into astrology if you're into understanding consciousness if you're into understanding how to get in alignment with this energy the moon guide is definitely i'm going to say more of an assist with this particular energy and what it is that we are supposed to be aligning with so with all of that being said Monday, moon day, we've had the eclipses on a Monday, moon days, which again, just an extra oomph for us to raise our vibration and frequency in consciousness. We will have the moon in this Aries energy go void, of course, at 1039 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be shifting into Taurus energy early Tuesday morning. So that is going to be a welcome shift to kind of stabilize us, slow things down in this particular accelerated time warp and really get us back to understanding the changes that now need to be made in our physical realm to initiate this new timeline, this new storyline, this new chapter, this new identity that we are going to be walking into. So with all of that being said, there are 12 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. Again, reminder, if you are interested in all of the different aspects, especially of what is actually happening at the peak potency of this eclipse, the moon guide is going to walk you through that, through the elemental energies, through understanding how it's going to affect the collective consciousness and your individual realm as well, according to your birth chart. The sun in Aries energy going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Taurus energy. We are having the sun shine a bright light in this Aries energy where there is a new beginning, where there is a new identity, where there is a new chapter forming. And of course, Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion, showing us the opportunities, the options now available to us in our physical realms to make some changes, to make some moves in order to stabilize, in order to to expand on what makes us happy, what makes us feel safe, what makes us feel secure. The moon in this Aries energy going to make a positive interaction with Mars. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire in this Pisces energy, trying to wrap up his particular cycle, his orbit, and become a little bit more emotionally, intuitively, and spiritually in alignment with a new truth, new mission, new frequency, new creative force energy. Now, reminder, Mars is the ruler over Aries season, is the ruler over this particular eclipse event. And so this is a pretty powerful interaction where we, again, in our inner realm, getting a new spark, new fire, new flame ignited within us. We are building inspiration, building motivation. We are building passion, building desire. And again, from our higher selves into a new calling, into a new mission, into a new purpose. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Aries energy, going to semi-square Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion in that Taurus energy that Venus naturally rules over. So this, of course, is going to highlight for us where it is that we have been having a change of heart, where we're realizing what it is that we're no longer in alignment with, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned. We're having a hard time thinking about our futuristic opportunities because, again, our heart space, very attached, 
very connected to people, places, and things that our old version of self has created. So this is a little bit of a friction point, realizing where it is that we're no longer in alignment, no longer attached to certain people, places, and things. And therefore, the tension point is a point of growth. It's understanding what we have to change, what we have to kind of maneuver, what we have to transform in order to free ourselves from those particular attachments. The moon in Aries is going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy. This is going to be an intense emotional shift into a new mood, into a new attitude, understanding where it is that we can boss up, where we do have power and control over our inner realm, over our emotions, over our energy, over our attention. That is a big factor considering the fact that eclipse season uh, there's a lot of triggers and activations coming at us to try and keep us in a low vibration and frequency so that we're not aligning with a higher timeline, with a higher vibration frequency in consciousness. And so there has been a lot of triggers and activations come out of the woodwork to try and keep us in that low vibe. However, many of us understand we're well prepared waiting for those triggers and activations. And therefore, we are rising above. This is an empowerment energy. This is understanding a lot of the hidden details, if you will, that have been out of our mind sight that we're starting to actually realize. Again, these are just small little glimmers, small little visions, small little opportunities to see where it is that we do have a change of pace, a change of timeline, change of storyline, change of energy, change of perspective, change in direction. So this is definitely a boss up energy going to put us in a totally different mood, different attitude, different perspective to see where it is that we want to blaze a path moving forward. The moon is going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations. He's in Pisces energy, really helping us to change and transform our realm of belief, our dreams, our visions, our creative aspirations, if you will. Now, normally we would get a little bit of a harsh reality check if this was a not so nice aspect. However, it's a gentle one. So there is, I'm going to say, a little bit of a seriousness, a little bit of somberness, realizing what it is that we're moving away from, what it is now that we have the opportunity to kind of gain closer proximity to, we're realizing that we are at the very fundamental stages of building something new, new structures, new discipline, new identity, all in alignment with a new vision, new goal, new dream. The moon is then going to come up to bump into conjunct the North Node in this Aries energy. Again, I'm going to recommend that you jump over to the Moon Guide, understand the key players. The North Node is definitely involved in this. We do have a stellium popping off in this Aries energy. A conjunction is just as much of an ending as it is a beginning. And this particular interaction is not only closing the door on some of the difficulties that we were having, trying to wrap our head around where it is that we want to go, what it is that we want to do, what it is that we want to pursue, but it's also opening up a door for us to see the path moving forward a little bit more clearly. This is really pushing us into a growth spurt, into a healing chapter, into a particular path where we are starting to rise up and rise above a lot of the blockages, a lot of the challenges that, of course, we have been facing over the last couple of months. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, planet of growth and expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. This is going to be hype. This is when, again, I'm going to recommend you listen to the Ascension forecast for this week, where we're going to start feeling the increased energy. Yes, this is optimism. Yes, this is confidence. Yes, this is renewing our faith, our trust, not only in the greater, grander plan, but in ourselves. And we are starting to see where it is that new opportunities are actually presenting themselves for us to grow up, for us to improve, for us to do better. 2.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon is going to come up to bump into conjunct the sun. This is what gives us our new moon total solar eclipse taking place in Aries energy. And again, the moon and the sun coming together is an emotional awareness. It's an aha moment. It is a brand new clean slate, clean chapter. 
The moon then goes ahead, conjuncts Chiron, because of course, if you listen to the forecast, if you listen to the moon guide, you would know that all of these planets are in stellium. They're closely grouped together. And so the moon conjuncting with Chiron, there's a spontaneous amount of healing. There's a spontaneous amount of growth. There are wounds that we are now looking at from a different perspective, from a different lens. And therefore, we are growing up. We are healing. We are improving. We are prepared in this new identity to actually bust out start making moves start kind of taking steps in a brand new direction the sun in aries energy going to conjunct chiron shortly thereafter shining a bright light on who it is that we now are who it is that we have the potential to be what it is that we're closing the door on what it is that we're opening the door up to the moon is then going to interact with Uranus, the great awakener in this Taurus energy. This is definitely going to open up our heart space, open up our head space. There's going to be an aha moment, major epiphany, pushing us to see what it is that we could do differently, where it is that we could go from here, what it is that we are kind of, again, shifting away from and therefore shifting closer to. And the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Aries coming up to bumping into conjuncting Mercury. Mercury's ruler of the mental plane retrograde in this Aries energy. Again, part of the stellium here for this eclipse energy. And again, this is just as much of an ending as it is a beginning. An alignment, if you will, between our heart and our head, understanding what it is that we're letting go of, what it is that we're rewriting as far as our inner narrative goes, and what it is that we are now orienting ourselves to actually pursue. This is new path, new plans, new strategies, and it's at this particular point, 10.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that the moon will go void, of course. And of course, when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are uncertain, but under this eclipse energy, how could you ever tell?